The Dahlia piercing, named after the Black Dahlia murder, is also known as the Joker piercing because the Joker also had the smile. You might be asking yourself, where is the Dahlia piercing? Well, that would go right to the corners of the side of the mouth. Not the cheeks, they're in closer. It's almost like a side lip piercing. The placement for this piercing is the side of the mouth. Now, you don't want to go in deep enough so it's not on the edge where you can get rejection or migration, and I'll talk about that in the next section. But for this one, you want to go in just far enough, and it's up to you whether you want it centered. Maybe if you want to look a little happier, you can go up a little bit, or you can go down lower. It's completely up to you. Now, as far as the jewelry options go, pretty simple. You're going to want to start off with a labrette stud. And with the labrette, you've got to give yourself enough room so there's room for swelling, and then, of course, downsize in the future. And it's completely up to you when you downsize whether you wear the flat that disc on the inside or the ball and some people even will wear the ring. I don't see how that would be comfortable but it can kind of look cool once in a while. The most common issues for this piercing is obviously going to be teeth and gum damage. Now if you're not careful and you're eating you could bite down and chomp down on that which would do a lot of damage, chip your teeth or it could be rubbing up against your gums if it's depending on the placement. So be careful about that. And if you downsize to the proper size, that will minimize a lot of the risk of the damage you can do to your teeth and gums. So please people, downsize, downsize, downsize. And then like I was saying earlier, if you go too close to the edge in the initial placement, your piercing can migrate out. So if there's a lot of movement and it's on that edge, I will see these things kind of turn sideways and even come all the way out. So keep your eye on it. If it seems like it's migrating, moving or rejecting out, you're probably gonna wanna take it out right away. So you've probably seen the lip piercing video. Maybe you've seen the cheek piercing video. Imagine this would be right in the middle as far as the pain. There's only one way to find out. I love it when our predictions are right. Right exactly in the middle of the cheek and the lip piercing. It might be a little bit more pinchy depending on the skin. Some areas are a little thicker, some areas are a little softer. So depending on the placement, it's definitely not too bad, but a little bit pinchy. Now you guys know I have a love for the rare ones and this is one of those rare piercings, so I'm a fan. Now the piercing can cause problems. As long as you take care of your piercing, you downsize and have the proper jewelry, it's an awesome piercing. If you don't wear it properly, you're constantly doing damage to your teeth, I don't like this piercing anymore. So that's kind of where I stand on this piercing. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Now if you enjoyed my video, make sure to give me a like, make sure to subscribe, and of course, keep putting holes in your body. We'll see you all in the next video.